Hi everybody, today I want to show you the difference between PLB, pre crash lock wheel braking system and normal ABS EBD system. Upper one is the car equipped with PLB, lower one is a car just with the normal ABS and EBD system. The upper one, the, uh, the car comes with the car distance sensor measuring the distance between our car and the leading obstacles. Uh, taking into consideration of our own car speed. Okay, as the car moves closer to the leading obstacles, okay, now PLB system detects an object is very close and it will apply more brake pressures at the rear wheels. It, so it will override EBD and achieve 50% of braking, initial, braking efficiency initially. Whereas the normal EBD system, electronic braking distribution, will still give about 30% of the braking efficiency to the rear wheels. Okay, when it is increased the pre pressure on the rear wheels to the extent of locking the rear wheel, it can improve the steering ability of our own vehicles to avoid the leading obstacles. So on how locking of the rear wheels can improve the steering ability, it has been uh, explained in other video clip. Okay, when it override the EBD and it achieve hundred percent of the braking efficiency, now rear wheels start to skip. Now the rear wheel will not will stop rotating and start skip. Okay, whereas at the no bottom here, the normal ABS normal EBD system will still give about thirty percent of the braking efficiency to the rear wheels. Okay, if the car move even closer and closer to the leading obstacles. If the object, this leading obstacle is still too close, front view will also allow to lock. This can ensure that all the four wheels have reached the maximum braking efficiency before crashing into the leading obstacles. Okay, so as the car moves even closer to the uh, obstacles, okay, as we have locked the front view, we will lose the ability to steal when we lock the front view. But if it is unlikely that we can mitigate the loss based on the distance and our car speed by having the ability to steal we should not compromise the braking efficiency for the purpose of ability to steal. Okay, now as the car moves even closer, okay, now as the car moves even closer, the normal ABS system may release the brake pressure before crashing into the object because it's locked and released. It doesn't care whether you are too, so close to the obstacles, it will still release your breast brake pressure. Okay, now is the point we crash with the leading obstacles. One is crash, all the wheel remain locked. Here, as you can see, all the wheel will be remain locked. And even the impact by the crash, the driver led has is retracted by the impact or the ABS bike horse is burst. The bike both the if the bike is burst broken, all the blood pressure will be gone. But our my system will not be affected even the bike has been burst. Okay. But for the normal or old uh, ABS system, at the touch of the bomber, okay, the rotations of the wheels will drop substantially. ABS system will think that the wheels are about to lock. Now ABS will release all the brake pressure. This will result in very serious car crash. Okay, now everybody is just continue to see the wheels of the cars. Okay. Okay, as you can see, my wheels remain locked until the end. Okay, now let us look at from the beginning how the whole system go are moving. 
Okay, detect. Okay, now the rear wheel start to lock. The rear wheel start to lock. And now even the front view also start to lock. Okay, thank you very much.